What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to Manny Reacts. I am Manny. Today, I'll be reacting to Strawberry Shortcake by Melanie Martinez, the official music video. Let's get to it. This is also like another highly recommended uh, video for me, you know? Highly recommended song. Ooh, okay. All right, so... Yeah, this is going to be uh, another critique of uh, patriarchy, sexism, misogyny, and uh, the superficial expectations and norms that society places on women to be perfect. That's where I feel like this is going. Oh, there it goes. Wondering why I don't look like Barbie. Wow. Wow. And I, I I feel like I bet Nicki Minaj did not make that shit any better when she started going around doing her Bobby thing and, and shit like that, making little girls want to look like Barbie. But I don't know. Did she try to like, maybe she tried to like reframe it and say, you know, you could look like a Barbie and still not be shaped like a Barbie because Nicki isn't shaped like a, like, um, like a Barbie. So I don't, she, she might've been trying to use it as like a, a liberative or a tool for liberation, you know, but I, I have no idea. Yeah, man. Yeah. So, well, boys like boys, let's be honest, boys like anything, boys like everything. So don't, don't live your life according to what boys like or don't like. Honestly, uh, most of us are greedy and selfish and we have insatiable desires for sex uh, that will never be satisfied no matter how attractive the woman is or isn't because right we know that these things attraction is all relative unless you're asking the media which dictates a lot of these narratives that young girls believe in if you ask the media what what constitutes as like an attractive woman you know or you look to pop culture um yeah it's it's that it's what she's describing um uh, 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 you know, someone built like a Barbie. Oh, hold up, hold up. Uh-uh, I'm sorry, y'all. I got to turn this up a little bit because I got to hear this. What did she just say? Oh, so she just brought up her, her mom trying to make sure that she's pure. So now, um, yeah, and it's fucked up how like patriarchy is also an intergenerational endeavor. Um, whereas moms and grandmothers who have bought into, um, who have bought into that ideology, um, start projecting that onto their daughters and granddaughters and they're like this is how um a woman is supposed to look this is how a woman is supposed to dress this is how a woman is supposed to be um and of course like according to a man's standards so it's like damn you got these these older people who have been around who are supposed to be guiding you in the right direction and making you feel good about yourself and reminding you that you have worth, that you have value, um, you know, that, that cannot be ascribed to you by a man, but by yourself. Um, and yet some, some parents, man, they're just fucked. I remember I, I went on a date with this girl. Damn. I don't even remember what her name was. That just goes to show I've been hoeing in 2020, y'all. No, I'm kidding. But um, no, I, I went on a date with this girl a few months ago in the summer. And like, well, we had a conversation and she was like, oh yeah, there's this like little girl that I mentor, but she like, she always wears like tomboy stuff. And like, uh, I'm, I'm going to take her shopping next week because I got to break her out of that habit. Like, because eventually she's going to have to like change how she like dresses and how she looks. Um, because like you got to, you know, nobody like nobody has taught her that like you're a little girl. And I was like, 
bruh, this shit ain't gonna work. Soon as she said that, I was like, yo, e either two things, either I gotta, I'm gonna have to put in a lot of work with this girl to like make this shit work or, <laughs> or like this shit just ain't gonna work. If she, if she's like, if that's how you move and, and that's what your belief system is, and shit, that shit might not work, man. Cause that's fucked up, man. You don't tell a kid that like gender is taught. You know what I'm saying? I know it sounds cliche, but yeah, that shit's a construct. So dress however the fuck you want to dress. That's all right. Like fuck. I, yo, I do you know how much shit I got going on in my life to be given a fuck about like whether some, you know, I respect them, but like, like whether like if somebody views themselves if someone is like yo i'm a man but i i feel like i was born in the wrong body or i'm a woman but i feel like i was born in the wrong body like like that's dope like okay you're you figured out who you are you know yeah gender that's that shit is made up is is fabricated so fuck if if you feel like you were born to you you know you were born into the wrong body and now you want to make that shit right by dressing a certain type of way um fucking do it i don't you know shout out to you man i'm still trying to figure out who the fuck i am shit fuck i look like with all the shit i got going on in my life to be talking down on uh people for for what kind of gender um preferences or what what kind of i don't fucking yeah I, I don't understand people like that like the conservatives and the republicans where they're like they can't go into that bathroom because they're not really a woman they can't men you know men you gotta wear this you gotta wear that what are you doing wearing the tight jeans what are you doing wearing the the this and that and what are you doing with the pants hanging off your yo why do you give a fuck you got your body you could do whatever the fuck you want with your body do what you want with your body if you don't want to wear a fucking dress don't wear a dress if you don't want to wear um your pants hanging off your ass don't do that if you don't want to wear skinny jeans don't do that just don't tell me how the fuck to wear my shit either you know what i mean just I mean, that's the thing, man. That's the thing, but. Yeah, it's fucked up too, man. Cause the schools be on that shit too. And that's a, that's white people though, man. That's a, ah, uh, that's. Everything comes down to white supremacy, doesn't it? That that's the core of all of our fucking issues, right there. No, and then not really. I mean, gender hierarchies came before race, so race is a relatively new construct in in, in the modern world. However, racism and colonialism um, exacerbated sexism and misogyny like a motherfucker. You know, it really did. It really did. It really did. I mean. You think about all these like gender norms and stuff like and and how they were taught to kids and uh like they were taught to like indigenous kids they were like in, in classrooms in africa you know the belgians the, the the british um the french they invade africa they fucking strip them of their resources subjugate entire societies force kids to go to colonial schools and tell them no, you dress, you wear a dress, you know, girls wear the dress, boys wear uh, the fucking, the pants in the, in the little shirt with the collar. And that's how you're supposed to dress like a proper civilized human being. Um, and you know, that's, that's how the gender rules start. And, and, and a lot of these societies, man, Europe, man, it's kind of like a disease that cotton it is, you know? And then, and then they complain about people going to their country and it's like, shit, <laughs> like don't nobody want to go to Europe. Let's be honest about it. If, if y'all didn't fuck up Africa and the Caribbean, if y'all didn't go over there and fucking kill everybody and enslave everybody and force everybody to fucking believe the shit that you believe and destroy the environment. I mean, you look at 
Dude, the environmental de devastation, the degradation that's taking place in Africa right now is just out of this world. And in Central and South America, like, yo, that was white people. I'm sorry. And y'all could downvote this all you want and say, well, he's coming at me. And like, why are you coming at white people so hard? Like, don't come at me like that. And it's like, you shouldn't be offended. Unless you identify with the oppressor, you shouldn't be offended. You should say, yeah, that's, you know, that's my cousins and my uncle and them. Like, they fucked up, man. You know, and, and I get to reap the benefits, the rewards off of um, the shit that they did. So let me try to be empathetic about that. And let me try to spread my privilege and share it wherever. But I know y'all are like, Manny, just hurry up and listen to the rest of the fucking video. But yeah, my bad. I'll, I'll keep going up. Oh, yeah, it's my fault. It's my fault. Okay, all right. Well, yeah, no, no. You see, girls are taught to believe that too, man. If boys do some fucked up shit, it's because of, and I know it sounds cliche, but yeah, they say it's because of the girls ask for it, the women ask for it, you know? I don't understand that logic. I mean, I, I understand it to the degree where, <laughs> like, I understand why men, why men, say that you know why men say you know it was her fault why you know she was asking for it yeah motherfucker you're saying that because like you need a cop out and you don't want to admit that you're a piece of shit so it makes sense that you would say that but at the end of the day you're still being disingenuous you know you're still being a fucking a liar a fucking dirty creature you know <laughs> Nah, but going back to the shit that I was talking about real quick, real quick, but going back to the shit that I was talking about before, as far as like gender norms and sexual orientation is concerned, um, especially in underdeveloped countries, so Africa and Latin America, um, there's also something to spreading like evangelical Christianity, you know what I'm saying? Like conservative colonial evangelical christianity in those places as well like you look at places like kenya and nigeria and ghana where yo it is a crime to be gay in those places and you're like where the fuck did that come from though and then you think about like oh white people told y'all that it's wrong to be gay like these fucking missionaries these these evangelicals that y'all y'all didn't really y'all wasn't really thinking about like sexual orientation in, in such a rigid such an inflexible such a narrow such a limited way until white people invaded your fucking country and told you what was wrong and what was right so honestly it's sad bro and and there's a lot of that in puerto rico too which is where my people come from like that sex, the, yeah, the sexism for sure. But like the uh, homophobia and the LGBT, like anti-LGBT sentiment. And it's like, y'all are just doing the, the oppressor's work for him, aren't y'all? You know, the same people who will criticize racism and white supremacy will turn right back around and then uh, demonize somebody for being gay. And it's like, can you, yo, that's how you know our education system is fucked up because it doesn't even allow people to make those connections and see those incongruities those contradictions the hypocrisy of whiteness um but yeah there you go there you go that's my thing oh yeah now she's talking about double standards and shit now gotta make sure my legs are shiny now who are these people right here though are they like uh like water ballet what is this called uh, what what do they do what are they these ugly guys who are these ugly guys these rats they look like rats oh that's cute that that heart that's beautiful where are they you know i'm not even listening to the lyrics my bad y'all what is this
Yeah, women, man, y'all, you're better off just doing what you want, man. Because the 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 more you like, if like if your conception of beauty is wrapped up in what uh, mainstream society wants you to uh, define as that then you will never be fulfilled um and well you might be fulfilled but you won't be as fulfilled as you would be otherwise if you like didn't give a fuck about what men thought about you and i know that it's like easier said than done man yeah i mean i don't have the fucking i don't have all the answers shit i don't yeah that shit i could only imagine how hard it is i could it's yeah but i'm just saying you know I'm just saying, we we gotta escape the lens of our oppressor, no matter what the what the group is, you know, because that allows you to free up your mind, you know, that allows you um, to again just empower yourself and embrace who you are, uh, which will make your life easier in some ways and it will make it more difficult in other ways because that kind of action, embracing who you are, loving who you are, it's countercultural. You know, our society doesn't want you to do that. It, it would rather have you saying, you know, it's my fault. It would rather have you gaslight yourself, shit, to be honest. Say, it's my fault, you know. Um, you know, I, I, I should have just, I should have just did what society wanted me to do. You know, I should have just been who they wanted me to be. Um, and, and yeah, but here you go. Yeah, man, that's true, man. Hey. Damn, I don't even know if, honestly, I don't even know if this mic was picking up my fucking volume because I know it cuts out when I sit back. So if it wasn't, man, my, my bad. I should have been more mindful. And you would think this shit costs like 60 bucks, so I would get like some good quality out of it, but... yeah i don't know maybe we got to do that in our curriculum public schools have to do that man they got to make at least one class like required that's about um race and gender you know maybe but i'm saying not even in the same class y'all i'm saying like two separate classes you know and uh I would recommend that you, you don't teach that to kids in high school. By that time, a lot of them are, they're going to be like racist piece of shit anyway. But, uh, I would say like, you know, middle school, middle school would be a good time to introduce that to the curriculum, make it required. You know, it could be a whole unit too. You know, it could be a whole, uh, not a whole unit. I don't even know what the fuck a unit is, but the whole year, like the whole year, the first semester is race and ethnicity, maybe race, ethnicity, and nationality. The second one is gender, sexual orientation, and maybe something else, but. Okay, there you go. No, nah, this this music video was dope though. It, it, it had, um, it was strong. It was strong and, and it had a lot of valuable insight. Um, but yeah, man, y'all y'all just gotta, people people you know y'all gotta take care of yourselves i gotta take care of yourselves love yourselves embrace yourselves make sure you're make sure you're um you know make sure you're taking care of yourself man but anyways if y'all enjoyed this video please like comment and subscribe melanie martinez shortcake there you go i'll see you later